What are the key ingredients for APCO to realize effective global growth? Well, I think what we've realized is that every market is different. There's a lot you can learn from place to place, but if you just try to transpose it, it doesn't work. And so we've taken a very local um, approach to what we do with a lot of local knowledge, local intelligence, coupled with our experience globally. So when we enter a market, we really do try to do a really good scan of what's happening in the market so we can focus on what's unique about that market. What do you see as being the most significant growth trends for APCO? Well, since APCO is a consulting firm, a lot of what we do mirrors the interest of our clients. And so, like our clients, we see the world moving east, and we have spent a lot of time and energy opening offices in key markets in Asia and uh, in the Middle East. And so, over the last four years, we've opened 10 new offices, including Dubai and Tune in uh, India and Guangzhou, and we already were in key markets in Vietnam and through the ASEAN region and in other places in China. Um, and that has really helped not only our companies that are interested in going in those markets, but it's helped APCO be a bridge for the emerging multinationals that are all part of the GGC that are coming out. And so we've expanded our service uh, ability to help them in New York or Washington or in the U.S. or Europe. So really our big opportunity is being a bridge. Do you agree with the thesis that the Asian and other economies have now decoupled from the U.S. economy? Well, I think overall, no. I, I think that it's hard. We, we are a global economy, and while some countries or some areas might be up and others might be down, I think ultimately, you know, there's the old adage, when the U.S. sneezes, people catch a cold. I think that you can't decouple Asia from the rest of the world. Um, however, I do think that there are opportunities for great growth in the region that are separate from these other trends. Um, but ultimately, um, finance is a global function and people are affected by what goes on around the world. What are the implications of the recent financial crises for growth companies? Well, I think uh, access to capital is definitely one of them. The fact that um, it's harder for companies, especially smaller companies, to access the capital markets. I think there's much greater scrutiny. Uh, there will be much more uh, regulation. And I think especially for companies that are in emerging markets, I think they can expect that there will be a lot more scrutiny as they try to go around the world. And, you know, we've been very involved for companies coming into the U.S. on regulations around the CFIUS rules. And I think that that kind of global regulation will continue. I think the other backlash, if I want to call it that, from at least from the political rhetoric of this year's um, U.S. elections is about protectionism. And unfortunately, I think when people um, can't uh, operate the way they want to operate, you try to find different kinds of scapegoats. And I do worry that uh, protectionism will and nationalism will translate into restrictions on global trade, which is not a healthy situation. What can you contribute to the summit in Tianjin, and what do you hope to take away from it? Well, I think the opportunity to all come together in Tianjin is a great new initiative for the World Economic Forum. And the whole theme of the new wave of growth could not be more timely. Um, I think APCO's on a new wave of growth, and I hope that what we will uh, contribute to this is some of our experiences around the world. At least um, this is what's happened in the past. There's been a lot of opportunity for dialogue uh, in Dalian last year. And I think the thing that we hope to come away with it is a better understanding of what people are looking for in these local markets, of what is the most helpful thing we can be doing with our clients for them to succeed, and really to help them kind of look at what's next for them. And this is a great opportunity to bring together great minds from a cross-section in order to accomplish those goals. So I look forward to it.